Well, it's, it's my birthday on Friday. Hey, happy birthday. Ah! Who left the door open? No, no, no! How is this on me? Oh, I'm fine, I'll do it. God, who keeps emailing me? A penis. What? Oh my God. Oh. It's emailing me too. You think I care about that? Look, I, I can do whatever I want, all right? If I want to shoot a paintball gun at my dad, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> good shot, son. I'm proud of you. You're crazy. Mm, that's a good shoe shot. Mm. or ass. Hard to believe this is a fun game for your radio listeners. Uh, I'm gonna say butt. Yes! You are correct. This is my mom's dumper. <laughs> oh, mommy! Not know how you got your hands on that. I took it. Oh, wow, look at that. You shaved off part of your mustache. That's lovely. I didn't shave it off. It rubbed off. From friction. Oh. <laughs> Uh. Excuse me, what are you doing? What happened to the guy that was in that van? Cops took him. What? Oh my god. Animal. Andy! It's that alarm. Andy! I want to take you both home and bend you over and just at the same time. Okay, so now you're sure that everything is okay, you know, down there? You're perfectly healthy. That man has the largest penis I have ever seen. I actually don't even know if he has mumps. Forgot to look. I was distracted by the largest penis I have ever seen. Together, we stand, and I ask all of you, who is ready to join the Coalition of the Willing? The moon shall join your coalition. Yeah, we got the freaking moon. What are you gonna do without tides, Peru? I'm hungry. Okay, well, don't be such a baby. I cooked you some bacon for a trail snack. I ate it already. What? I could smell it in your purse before I even parked my car. And now it's gone, and I hate everything. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Don't fly away. Raise the love. Okay, all right, so that one is dead. We know that. His memory will live on, as today we light a fire that will burn on for eternity. Oh my God, hey! Okay, deep breath. I think we got through it. Thank God. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, you put propane in the eternal flame, right? No, they were out. So I just got a big thing of lighter fluid. It's kind of the same thing. <gasps> oh! Oh! Ron, I am very sorry. I, I, I guess I put too much fuel in the torch. Oh, I don't know, Jerry. I think you're being hard on yourself. Ron, are you mad at me? Because without eyebrows, I can't really tell. Wow, looking good. Yeah, I mean, I wish we had built one of those elevators that comes up from under the stage, you know? They're like coming. a rock arena kind of thing? They're coming! What? Oh! Ron! They're, coming. They're coming! What talk? What? Ooh, the Russians? Yeah, he was hanging up his gold record. <laughs> Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ann, looks like you already met Jeff. Well, you didn't tell me that your friend was so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Wait, Jeff. Not as beautiful as my sister, but you know the law. <laughs> oh, what? No, Jeff. My bird is missing. I need a permit to post signs. Oh, uh, let me just look for that form. There's no time. He can fly. You haven't told anyone about the baby, right? No, but my brain is about to explode from stress. I am not good at keeping secrets. That's exactly what I told Kyle when he told me his wife was cheating on him. Andy, come on. Ah, see, oh. Not cool, man. Not him, not that Kyle. Okay, we are going to have a doctor's appointment, uh, and then after that, we can probably tell people. So just hang in there, please. 
I can do this. People do this. People keep secrets. My neighbor Eric, he, he's kept a secret for 20 years. He's in witness protection. Okay. Oh. Baby, I'm back. Thank you so, wow! Oh! Why are you naked? Oh! Well, because of what you said, we're getting back together. No, we're not. Yes, we are. You should have heard the super sexy stuff she was saying to me. I said, hey, Andy, it's Anne. Can we talk at my house? That's not how you said it. You were like, hey, Andy, it's Anne. Can you talk at my house? Oh, my God, you're such a baby. Oh, literally, big naked baby. Put clothes on. You know what? I think I'm safe. She's got to be tired by now. Hi. Ah! Okay, are there any more recommendations for new games at the rec center? My daughter, she loves shoots and ladders. Oh, come on. There is no strategy to shoots and ladders. It's just luck. My daughter's five. Well, your daughter is an idiot. Her daughter is an idiot. Her daughter is an idiot. Oh. No. Her daughter no, is no. an idiot. No, no, she's not. Look at me! Uh, uh, OK, excuse me. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, god. Donna? Gentlemen. Money, please. Oh, no, no, there's no money. Oh, my bad. No problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'll just destroy this office. Oh, hey! <clears throat> money, please! Money, please. Well, my job is to see to your every need. Do we just uh, select the woman we desire? I will take the large black one. Interesting choice. What? Did you have some kind of a book with photos of the women available to us? If not, I will also take the sexy black one. Your department banned me from attending games just because I yell you suck at the players. According to the complaint, you yelled it at five-year-old girls. Who suck? Why is that so hard to understand? Thank you, officer. Let's just go home, Leslie. Yeah, let's go let's home. Let's just go home. No! Let's just go home. No! No! Easy. No! No, 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 no! Okay, come with me. You want my gun? Mm -hmm. This, uh, Mark Jansen's office? Nope. <sighs> Tell Mort I said, your move. Leslie's put together a presentation for financial recovery. Great. You may find it very informative. Let's get started with our first slide. Well, well, well. Yes, I understand your complaint. I have to go now. Please, thank you. Ron Solo. Hello, Tom. I want to help you with your assistant search. Why? Just want to do my boy Ron a solid. I know exactly what you're looking for, and I will find you a reliable person. Now get out there and find me an assistant. Okay. And when she looked in the back of her car, she saw that even though it was her own private property, she would be forced to take it in for a state inspection. Okay, guys, listen up. I was in favor of closing the border's bookstore, not the border to Mexico. I guess my thoughts on abortion are, you know, let's just all have a good time. I don't care about that issue. Just ask someone else. For the record, I'd appear in a film with any of my fellow candidates. We're also going to try a Pavlovian technique. Ron is holding Tammy's perfume. Girth. Oh. Oh, smells good. Oh! Again. Tammy! Oh! How many times are we going to do this? Until the bottle is empty. Again. Twice. <laughs> Tammy! Oh! Hey! What is wrong with you? Leslie, it's the workplace. You're being a little bit too feisty right now. You are being a little bit too much of an ass right now, okay? Knock it off. I can't fight this feeling anymore. You and I, we're dating. You should be so lucky. Leslie! Huh? Tom? They should fix that. It's like George Bush when he flew over New Orleans, or Richard Nixon when he went to China to see what the Chinese were up to. No. Oh, oh, 